Boom. All right. Lunch with Bomb. What's up? No such thing as I can't. Where are you guys coming from? Give me a thumbs up. We'll let this thing run for a second. I was going to run uh, three different things on my Facebook and my YouTube and uh, on uh, Insta Live, but uh, technical difficulties. So we'll just go with the normal. We'll go with the double. Anyway. All right. Hey, all right. So talking with someone this morning and then I came into school and it was the same thing, right? Everybody's like, oh, I can't do it. You know what? You choose to do it or you choose not to do it. You will or you won't. There's no such thing as I can't. And it goes back to what I talked about yesterday is your belief system. You know, you, you fill your head with so much BS that you, it, it's just, you become what you believe what you become. It's just craziness, right? So you got to set your belief system. All right. It's like uh, people that want to um, have better nutrition or, uh, you know, exercise more or, you know, go to the gym more or whatnot. They end up talking themselves out of it. And it's not the fact that they can't afford it or they don't have time. Those are just excuses. You know, it's it's their belief system. You know, like once again, you choose to do it or you choose not to do it. It's super simple. You know, I I say, you know, that's so it's simple, but not easy. You know, the biggest thing is, you know, it keeps going, always going back to planning. Uh, we were talking uh, a couple of the gals at school this morning is that, uh, you know, we have so many goals and we have so many like big aspirations of accomplishing things. And, but we have no plan. We have no action plan in order to accomplish what we're trying to accomplish. So there's no wonder people fail, you know, what is it? Um, even life, what in life, right? There's only 3% of the population that actually writes their life goals down. And no wonder people can't accomplish anything because we get stuck in a rut, right? We work nine to five, we work eight to four, or shoot, we work 80 hours a week. And all of a sudden, you know, you get home and you just implode on the couch watching some ridiculous uh, show on TV. And, you know, you got no chance, right? And then you just get into the same monotonous routine over and over, I'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow turns into next week, next week week turns into never. You know, it's uh, it's crazy. So there's no such thing as I can't. You gotta have a plan. And one of the biggest things that you know I tell folks is if you don't know how, you gotta ask. You gotta ask for help. I see Kim on here, I see some other folks. What's up, Luke? You know, I see some other coaches that uh, that are out there that are that are here to help you. You know, it follow the people that that have done it ahead of you and, you know, either copy them or ask for help. You know, the 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 craziest thing, it's like what Einstein said, right? The definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and over again, thinking you're going to get a different result. It's craziness. But here's the crazy thing, too, is people say I can't so much. They won't do it. They don't do it. You know, once again, you either choose to do it or choose not to do it. You know, got any questions as I'm rolling here, you know, fire away. It's, uh, you know, we have, uh, we're coming to the end of our school year and we've done all of our final testing uh, throughout the year. Coach Baum threw up some pretty good numbers too. Uh, you know, and the kid, they always look at it being the end, you know, so I got a goal, right? I set a goal and I work through my plan and I get to the end. You know, it's it's not really the end. You know, in, my, in the workout world, and like we got all of our kids and our athletes, you know, we started counting back toward, you know, there's only like 10, 10 12 weeks until fall camp starts. So right now, it's, it's just the next, it's the first workout in the next phase of our plan. But if you don't ever have a plan, shoot, you got no chance. So here's a little a suggestion to you. What's the goal? What's the end product, right? You have this end product and then just work backwards uh, from there, okay? And then you, you, you just set things up. You got dates. You got all kinds of stuff going on, right? So you got to make sure you have this plan in place so you have an end date or an end goal and then just work backwards from there. Set it up. And then you have a little bit of systemized, uh, you know, setup of what you're, you're trying to do because if you keep saying that you can't do it, then you honestly, you have no chance in doing it. I'm loving this. Uh, Facebook has got some crazy new things popping up all over the place. What's up, fellas? Let's crack a lacking. All right, topic today was, you know, no such thing as I can't. You know, have a plan, work the plan, and then, you know, good things happen. If, if you don't know how, ask. I started doing uh, some private coaching on the side and, uh, you know, working with people. It's, it's amazing to me that pe- people's mindset in what they're doing, you, you got to... Chris S. Is, he says you got to have a checkup from the neck up. You know, you got to breathe some positivity into your own life. 
All right. If you're always hanging around negative people and they're always the ones telling you that you can't do it, get away from those people. Change change the circles that you're running in. Maybe go find a new gym to work out at. Find a new uh, workout partner. Oh, hey, from K Town, what is happening? I hey, I love that man, Chadwick. That's like I can, you know. If you pause it, here's a great one. All right, baseball guy here. I think I told this story before, right? All right, so pitcher's on the bump, and uh, coach is relaying pitches through the catcher, right? And so the, the coach gives a sign to the catcher. Ca- ca- catcher gives a sign to the pitcher. Pitcher's looking at it. It's like he's got he, – coach calls curveball, and the pitcher's got two options. He has to have a positive thought. It's the right pitch. He set the guy up, right? He's got to have a positive thought in his head. And a lot of times what happens is is the pitcher's going to say – Oh, shoot, don't hang the curveball, right? So don't hang the curveball, don't hang the curveball. What's the brain here? The brain here is hang the curveball. If he just changes that, you know, put a different, bury the curveball on top, finish, you know, having positive thoughts in your head instead of don't hang the curveball. I can't throw the curveball. Even though the curveball was the right thing, all of a sudden he hangs the curveball, balls 400 feet up in the double deck, right? So positive thoughts. Once again, little recap. Let's work backwards, right? What's the goal? The goal is to keep the goal the goal, all right? Set the goal, set an end date, all right? Work backwards from there. Write down some of the barriers and things that, uh, that are going to come up in, in your day. Work schedule, you know, events, you know, all kinds of things, right? And then work backwards and then put things in place. Whatever the goal is, I mean, you decide what it is. There's, you should set goals all the way around, you know, whether it's in your, in your workout, in your nutrition, in your business, uh, in your personal life, whatever it is. You know, I forgot, I want a little while ago, you know, I was saying, well, two years ago, really, you know, I forgot how goal oriented I was, you know, and you just get stuck in the rut. But, you know, work backwards, set a goal. And then from there, anything that's outside the goal, don't worry about it because, you know, it doesn't help what you're trying to do working toward your goal. So there's no such thing as I can't. Have a plan, set the plan, work the plan, okay? Uh, I mentioned earlier, you know, I've got some some coaching stuff on the side. If you, like I said, if you don't know how, you got to ask. You got to ask for help. All right. So if you need a little, you know, whether it's a a daily positive uh, upbeat, you need some personal help, you need some uh, training help, you need some nutrition help, shoot shoot me a message, private message me. Uh, You've got my number. My number's out there. Give me a call too. Uh, I'd love to chat with you anyway. But there's no such thing as I can't. You either choose to do it or you choose not to do it. All right. And I believe in you. All right, I believe in you and I know you can do it. I know you can go out there. You can have a positive impact on all the people around you and that in turn is gonna have a positive impact on your life. All right, you guys have an amazing day. Uh, Lunch with Bomb out. I'll have another one coming. If you got any other topics you wanna hear me talk about, but hit me up. You need some help. You need a little boost. You need a little coaching. Give me a call. That's why they call me coach. All right, talk soon.